Timeless Concepts from Physics Helpline In this video tutorial, we will discuss a multiple choice question on the magnetic field produced by a rotating disk having uniform surface charge density at a point on the axis of rotation. The question is as follows. Read the question carefully. The situation is shown in the figure. This is the disk of radius r. It has got surface charge density sigma. The disk is rotating about this axis with uniform angular velocity omega. P is a point on the axis at a distance a from the center. We are required to find the magnetic field produced by the rotating disk at point P. Now for the answer. This is the disk. Now we will consider an elementary element of the disk which is a ring of radius x and thickness dx. Therefore area is equal to 2 pi x into dx. Therefore, charge on this element is given by dq is equal to surface charge density into area. Therefore, sigma into 2 pi x into dx. Now, the current, equivalent current of the rotating disk, rotating ring in this case, the rotating element is uh, obtained by multiplying the charge with frequency. So, di is equal to dq into f but f is equal to omega by 2 pi angular velocity omega divided by 2 pi. Therefore, we get uh, di is equal to dq into omega by 2 pi. Now, putting the value of dq, we get sigma into 2 pi x dx into omega by 2 pi. 2 pi gets cancelled, giving us di is equal to sigma omega x into dx. Now, the magnetic field due to this element at point P is given by dBP is equal to mu0 into current is di into x square divided by 2 into x square plus a square to the power 3 by 2. Putting the value of di, we get mu0 into sigma omega x into dx into x square. Simplifying, we'll, we'll take the constants separately. Mu0 sigma omega by 2. Mu0 sigma omega by 2 into x square into x dx gives us x cube dx divided by x square plus a square to the power 3 by 2. Therefore, magnetic field produced at point P by the entire charged disk is obtained by integrating dBP. So, BP is equal to mu0 sigma omega by 2 into integral of between limits 0 to r x cube dx divided by x square plus a square to the power 3 by 2. We will first evaluate this indefinite integral. That is, integral of x square will deliberately put x cube is equal to x square into x dx divided by x square plus a square to the power 3 by 2. We will make a substitution x square plus a square is equal to z square. Therefore, differentiating we get 2x dx and a square gives us 0 which is equal to 2z dz. Cancelling 2 we get x dx is equal to z dz. Now we will put the values. x square is equal to z square minus a square and x dx is equal to z dz divided by x square plus a square is equal to z square and z square to the power 3 by 2 is equal to z cubed. So, we get z square minus a square into z dz divided by z cubed. Now, cancelling one z here, we get z square minus a square divided by z square into dz. Separating the terms, z square by z square gives us 1 into dz minus a square into dz by z square. We are, we are doing two different integrals. Now, dz integral gives us z and uh, integral dz by z square is equal to 
minus 1 by z and by virtue of this negative sign this becomes plus a square by z making z as the common denominator we get z square plus a square divided by z now we'll substitute back z square plus a square now z square is equal to x square plus a square so x square plus a square plus a square gives us x square plus 2a square and uh, z is equal to root over x square plus a square therefore we will be using the equation bp is equal to mu 0 sigma omega by 2 integral of 0 to r x cube dx divided by x square plus a square to the power 3 by 2 we have evaluated this indefinite integral as this much therefore bp will become mu 0 sigma omega by 2 and this one x square plus 2a square divided by root over x square plus a square and this will be evaluated between limits 0 to r using the upper limit x is equal to r we get x square becomes r square and this x square also becomes r square which gives us r square plus 2a square divided by root over r square plus a square putting x is equal to 0 the lower limit minus lower limit x square 0 and this also 0 so gives us 2a square divided by root over a square a root over a square is equal to a and 2a square by a gives us 2a which gives us bp is equal to mu 0 sigma omega divided by 2 into r square plus 2a square divided by root over r square plus a square minus 2a which is the answer to the question therefore the correct option is b this completes the answer to the question. Thanks for watching. If the video is helpful, then please like, share and subscribe.